Well, I know we're excited at Owens Community College about the cybersecurity camp for young people that's coming up uh, starting on the 22nd of June. And I am delighted that uh, we're actually going to be able to spend some time with our featured presenter for the summer camp, Mr. Eli Cochran. Eli, how are you? I am doing great. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Well, the college's community uh, event, which is a cybersecurity camp for seventh to ninth graders, that's an interesting age group, as you, as we all know. Um, it's an age group where a lot of people are, a lot of kids are maybe just hearing the term cybersecurity for the first time, or at least noticing it for the first time. As someone that works with young people in the area of cybersecurity, in your mind, what, why is it important that this age group know some things about cybersecurity? Sure. I think, honestly, it's kind of the best age to start it, right? Um, so, yes, I do teach uh, high school students. So I teach juniors and seniors cybersecurity. But if we think about, you know, getting students excited about cybersecurity and what that looks like, starting them earlier on, even if they don't go for the cybersecurity pathway, at least they've got that in their mind. Um, at least they're thinking about it. No matter what industry you go into nowadays, cybersecurity is a big deal. Um, and users need to be trained on how to have just good cyber hygiene. So even just starting to talk to students at that age is a great door opener to that kind of stuff. And especially with young girls, right? We need women in STEM so bad. So, you know, starting early on, um, I, the last report I remember seeing was, and I think it's, it's definitely gone up a little bit, but the last report I remember seeing was like 13%. Um, in the IT technology field, we're female, and it's like, I think that's gone up a tad, but still, it's a long way off, and I think starting younger definitely helps. Well, there's so much need in the cybersecurity industry for more help that we really can't afford only to have one gender participating. We need all the help we can get. Absolutely. So for parents of kids this mm -hmm. age who are thinking about encouraging their child or listening to their child's idea for participating in the camp, what would you tell them so that they have a, a good sense of what kind of experience the camp is going to be like for their child? Sure. So first off, if you notice the background, I'm mean, a super geek, right? Like, so I try to, you know, we got to start out in the beginning um, and we've got to learn the fundamentals. So the idea behind this camp is to have no prerequisites coming into it. So we will be teaching students what they need to know for the camp. So there's no like pre-knowledge that needs to be had. Um, I'm really excited uh, about our dev board that we're going to be using. So the little board that we've got, um, it's a great learning platform for students to learn on. Um, and it's very flexible. So not only can it do cybersecurity stuff, but it can also do just general electronics, general technology stuff. So it's got some really cool stuff. So they caught my attention there. So, so what is that device called again? Yeah, so it's a M5 stack is what it's called. And um, we are going to be doing the hash monster. So uh, it is a little device that you feed it with Wi-Fi is the best way to put it. So you have to take your device around and find different Wi-Fi access points to give it food. Ah, OK. And uh... So that I think that that leads to another concern that some parents might have, and maybe sure. even some kids who are thinking about participating in the camp. Uh, what if a parent says, "You know, my kid gets bored easily. So is this going to be? Is it? How's this going to work out? You know, what what are your thoughts about the activities? Kind of walk us through, if you would, the the camp." Sure. I mean, we all remember school back in our day. Like you had the teacher that got up in front of the class and just talked all day. That's not going to happen in this camp, um, right? We want to get you hands on. We want to get you doing things. So, you know, from the board side of stuff, there's going to be plenty to do. I think we're going to run out of time before we can get to everything. So I don't think that's going to be an issue, right? Like we are going to have a lot of fun. Things are getting planned. Uh, we're going to be doing some tabletop exercises. Uh, it'll be it'll be pretty cool. And it's not going to be like a, you know, there's other camps that it, you're going to be coding a lot. That's not necessarily what we're going to be doing. There's a little bit of that. Um, but there's going to be some hands-on stuff to it, as well as a little bit of coding and a little bit of encryption, uh, dealing with cryptography and playing around with that. So um, it should be pretty exciting. Sounds that way. As a cybersecurity professional, Eli, um, what are what are you saying the kids will be doing with what they learn once the camp, the camp is over with? So in the months ahead or even years ahead, what, what are they going to be doing with the knowledge they pick up at the camp? 
Sure. I kind of mentioned it earlier on. We talked about just good cyber hygiene, right? So that's kind of my, as an instructor, that's one of my big takeaways that I want to help students with is just learning, you know, what to be on the lookout for. So we'll be actually going through some social engineering exercises um, and letting students kind of role play those. So as they go into the workforce later on in their careers, um, they've already kind of got that knowledge and what that looks like and what to look out for, right? Um, I just heard about a report now that uh, companies are getting their email servers hacked and they're starting to impersonate, like they're jumping in the middle of a conversation. So just teaching students how to think about that from an email standpoint and uh, how to prevent themselves from getting scammed is just, that's stuff we're going to be covering, right? It's all part of that social engineering. A lot of adults from work, workplace training or other situations have heard the term social engineering. Yeah. Um, maybe you could just talk for a second about that and, and also make the connection between social engineering and, and why that's important for young people, seventh to ninth graders, to learn about. Yeah, well, there's actually a report that was put out. Um, it was actually an article that talked about like students and or young people, um, they're getting scammed on their games, right? Like there's in-game dollars and these scam artists know that kids want these and parents won't buy those for them. So they're getting kids, they're convincing them to find their social security numbers and email them to them because they'll give them in-game dollars for it. And if we think about that from like a just financial issue, right? Like their social security number, their personal identifying information is now compromised. And a lot of times it's not noticed until they get into high school uh, or into college when they go to apply for college loans. Um, so just teaching students that that's not normal, right? Like nothing's free. So, and having that mindset of it. I think every day, regardless of age, but young people in particular learn more, we hope, than, than everyone uh, in terms of the amount learned on a daily basis. It's scary, isn't it? How many it different is. new ways are being invented to take advantage of people through their, their digital assets, to use a fancy term. Yeah. Well, what is, if you had to pick one particular thing, Eli, what are you looking forward to the most uh, as this camp unfolds at Owens Community College? Sure. I think just, and this is kind of the reason I'm a teacher, right? Uh, just that light bulb moment for students, that aha moment when they, you know, they've got a problem. I call it like a good struggle, right? So they're, they're trying to figure out this problem. They're, they're so confused. They don't understand it. And then all of a sudden it just clicks and they're like, that makes sense. I, that is what I'm excited about. So we've got quite a few young people coming in um, and I can't wait to meet them all. Um, and we'll be getting some more information out, I'm sure, uh, giving out some sneak peeks and stuff on some things. But uh, that's what I'm most looking forward to is seeing the learning that's going to happen, but in a fun way. And one thing we know for sure, we both very much want uh, as many young people as possible to come and participate, uh, learn, have fun, spend part of their summer uh, doing something that probably is very different from any kind of summer camp yeah. experience they've had before. That's the goal. We're pretty excited about that and really excited that you'll be there to lead the, lead the charge. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, Eli. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it and look forward to seeing you all.